one step at a time. That's how the biggest dreams are achieved. So if your dream is to study in the UK, make John Leggett College your next step. Here we're proud of our outstanding reputation for exceptional educational performance with a wide range of academic and vocational courses and excellent links to the UK's top universities to get you where you want to be. Find out more at leggett.ac.uk. JLC, your place to be. Your morning show. Podcast. Roses are red. Violets are blue. When we call your man, he'd better choose you. Now let's do this. Jackie, good morning. Good morning. Um, this is this is bizarre. So let's just uh, kind of hop right in. You and Matt have been together for how long? We've been dating for a little over a year. Okay. okay. And we don't live with each other, but we spend a lot of time at his place, right? Yeah, like I'm I'm there a lot. Um, you know, I'll bring my dog over. You know, he mm. loves my dog. Um, I mean, it feels like we're moving in that direction. Um, just because I spend so much time, like you kind of like started the discussion. Um, but no, we don't officially live together yet. Okay, and what's hmm. what's dog's name? Just for reference. Um, it's Lucy. Lu- oh, Lucy. Lucy. Okay, Cute. so Lucy's kind of involved with this. So, uh, was the past week we saw some ticks on Lucy? Yeah, you know, it is tick season, so I do try to, like, check her as often as possible, and um, I found a tick on her, and it freaked me out, Mm -hmm. Um, because, you know, I bring the dog over there, and I don't want ticks, you know, at his plate, you know, to jump off and to get into his bed and his his couch. Um, So after I saw her the the tick, you know, on her, like, I obviously cleaned my place, and I went over to Matt's place, um, and I just, like, uh, pulled up the sheets, like looking up through everything just to clean, like look into all the uh, crevices. Yeah. So they could, yeah. You know, they get everywhere. Um, and that is when, like, so when I was kind of flipping his mattress to kind of look through, you know, to try to see if there were any ticks in his bed, um, I found some unopened, like, lingerie packs. Um, I'm going to assume they're from Amazon because they were like unmarked. Like they, it wasn't like Victoria's Secret sure. or anything like that. Mm-hmm. It was clearly like off brand or no name brand. So I'm going to assume it was Amazon. Okay. Um, under his bed, and it was nothing like it wasn't my size. It wasn't my style. Like I'm not really into lingerie to begin with. Sure. Like I do wear it from time to time, but like this was just so ugly. Right. Um, so, and so and that's interesting because I do think he's been at that place for how long? Uh, I think he, he refined. So I want to say it's like a little over three years now okay. that he's been there. Because like, this is going to sound gross. In theory, that's from somebody else, and he hasn't checked under his bed in three years. That's a very mm-hmm. plausible uh, excuse. Is it, though? Oh, yeah. Oh, for dudes? Yeah. For that's du- a for, long time. Oh, I know. Don't you listen. <laughs> listen. Yeah, like that sheet, your first uh, semester of college. Oh, gross. Yeah. I can just smell uh, it. But, but. Jackie, you actually went into his Amazon to cross-reference things. Yeah. So I'm, like, not proud of this. Um, it just, like, got me so nervous, like, that he could be, you know, with somebody else. You know, like, I hate thinking about about that, like, with the holidays coming up. Yeah. So I went into, his, like, his Amazon account. Again, not proud of this. Um, but I had to follow my intuition. And he had ordered it in, like, the past, like, month or two. And he's ordered some other adult toys, like okay. none of which I've seen. And like, yeah, I'm open toys. Yeah. No, of course. Sure. Especially with the uh, holidays coming around, for sure. Boy, time to yeah. ask. Um, let me do this, Jackie, because I, I do think that's bizarre. Let me, um, we'll call him. We're offering the flowers. Obviously, it should go to you. If it doesn't, we'll see what's up, too, okay? Okay. So War of the Roses on your morning show. War of the Roses on your morning show. Jackie, I'm going to uh, reset this. If people were texting 99338 before we even get into the reset, how far away do you guys live from each other? Um, About 10, 15 minutes. Okay. So like, in theory, like if you wanted to do a drive-by to make sure nothing was up, you, you could do that, right? I could do that, yeah. yeah. That's, just, that's just what people were uh, asking for text. Okay, so with you and Matt, you guys have been dating for a year, don't live with each other. You found some uh, ticks on your dog Lucy, which that is like, the, tis the season for that. Did a little uh, cleaning at your place, his place, to make sure there's nothing uh, there. 
found underneath his mattress some open and open uh, like packages of lingerie. Not your size, not your style. Uh, I had said, I know uh, it's gross, but there's a good chance if he's been there for three years, he ain't never looked under the mattress like that. He has never bothered to look there. But we checked his Amazon. He's had those purchases in the last six months. There's also been other adult um, toys, if you will, that we have not partaken in. That's kind of where we're at, right? Yeah. Is there anybody in his life, like coworker or something like that, that you would be cautious of? Like there is somebody that like maybe gives you the cold shoulder on his uh, circle? Um, no, you know, I mean, we, I mean, we don't hang out with his work friends or um, very often, but you know, when we do hang out with his regular friends, you know, like I'm always, you know, cool with their girlfriends, cool with their his okay. friends. I mean, he doesn't have a lot of like, um, like girl that's our friend. Sure. Um. So I just don't know where this could be coming from. And gotcha. all their girlfriends, like, this is just nothing would fit them. Gotcha. Okay. I just want to make sure. Hold on. Let me uh, call him up real quick. I'll give him the uh, flowers and see what's up. Hold on one second. Type it in here. Hello? 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 Hi, calling for Matt, please. Um, uh, speaking? Matt, my name is Avery with YMS Flowers. How are you? Um, I'm, I'm okay. Perfect. Listen, we are a local flower shop. Am I, am I catching you at a bad time? I mean to wake you up. Uh, 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 no, um, no, I'm sorry, where did you say Perfect. you were calling from? I'm, I'm uh, from YMS Flowers, local flower shop in the area. We've been doing some marketing, man, trying to get your name out there, trying to grow our horizons and uh, sprout new opportunities. And uh, you popped up here on my list as somebody in our deliverable area who would be interested in a free bouquet of a dozen red roses. I'm here to grant that wish for you, one free bouquet of a dozen red roses, long stem to send anybody in the United States. We're doing this with the holidays coming up to be a gentle reminder that, hey, we're uh, yeah, here for you. Me, uh, let me stop you right there. Um, I'm 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 really not interested in buying it. So it's it's I'm free, sorry. completely completely free. So I completely understand, completely free. We uh we're trying to make a man mom pop shop. You know we've been doing this for a couple of years now, and uh, you popped up my list. We buy lists from Facebook and Instagram. You kind of fit the profile of somebody. So I don't take any credit card information. There's no money exchange, no money order, nothing like that. The idea is the person you send the flowers to, they're so in love with the flowers, they keep coming back for more. It's a very memorable experience, you know? Um yeah, listen. I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. This yeah. this sounds kind of like a scam. I, no, I no, no. Really... Listen, no. Here's but here's and I get that a lot. But here's what I'll say to you: If I ask for a credit card, just hang up. Do you know what I mean? If 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 a credit card's asked for, all I gotta do is hang up, friend. You'd be really helping out a small that, business, that, man. That, it's a mom yeah, and pop that, shop. That's a good point. Yeah, it's, so, my, it's mom and pop shop. I really appreciate it, man. Again, if, if I ask for a credit card, you just hang up the phone, okay? Okay. All right, perfect. So they are a dozen long stem red. They come with a card. The card has about 300 characters on it, size of a tweet or so. I just need the first name of the person you want to send the flowers to. Uh, Jackie. Jackie. Okay. In my uh, drop down, I e. Jack, got you. I e. in my drop down box here, Jackie to you is uh, mom, sister, wife, fiance, other, girlfriend. 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 Awesome. How long have you guys been together for? Uh, a little over a year. Over a year, nice. In the card, Jackie, what do you want to say? Let's go with um, these are just because. I just wanted to let you know that I love you. All right, these are just because. I want to let you know that I love you. Awesome. Can I put you on a uh, brief hold? Uh, sure. One second. Hey, Jackie. So, a couple of things. We can either hang up and just call a day, or we can talk to him and see what you uh, want to do. Um, I feel like I want to, I mean, I want to talk to him. I feel like maybe if he's been put on the spot, maybe he'll like kind of open up about sure. what's going on. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. Hold on a second. Hey, Matt. Yes. I have to come clean quick. My name is uh, John. Got Riley Rose here as well from your morning show. We're hey. doing a war of the roses. I have your girlfriend, Jackie, on the other line. Uh, Jackie, if you want to say hello. Hi. So, Matt, the reason we're here, Jackie had found some things in your bedroom that she thought were sus uh, suspicious. We're trying to figure out who exactly they belong to. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, 
No. Okay. The lingerie under your mattress? I guess in your Amazon orders for that uh, moment, mm-hmm. too? Oh, oh, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, but do you see why that would be a cause for suspicion for your girlfriend? I mean, in in the wrong context, yeah. So uh, what's the I, what's I, the right I, context, then, just so I know? Okay, well, I mean, uh, first off, I'm, I'm not cheating on you, okay? Uh, okay. That's not, you know, I'm, I'm not seeing anybody else anything like that so here so here's the thing um i i i watch some stuff online i you know i I do some of you know like that sort of thing and um yeah uh i i I buy those things as you know gifts for women online to use and like send pictures of and stuff like that as an outlet to make sure that our relationship stays stronger Okay, Matt, I don't understand. Like, OnlyFans is porn. Like, how do I... Can't say that word. Can't say that word. Can't say that one. But, yeah, to your point, Matt, so how how, how is that any different? So it's different than porn because, first off, everyone who's involved in it, it's it's totally voluntary, right? Like, it's not like okay. anyone's being okay. taken advantage of or anything like that. But, Matt, but, um, like, okay, but let me, and- let me ask you this, Matt, though. If Jackie was sending <laughs> uh, boxer briefs to dudes to wear and then send back, would that be cheating? Well, I mean, I don't, you know, I mean, they don't, they don't send it back. You okay. Know, like, if Jackie not... was sending boxers to dudes on the internet, would that be weird? <laughs> I mean, I guess a little, it, it, I know yeah. it, it, it sounds like a double standard, but it, I guess it a little bit, yeah. But here, this, this is this is what I'm saying. All right. Like, <laughs> I really like you, Jackie. I, I, and I think we're at a great place and I, yeah. I don't want to mess it up. Oh, here you comes know? the butt. Like. But you are. Well, You're messing up. Like I, like honestly, I'm just kind of dumbfounded right now. Like, yeah. I, I, like I, like the things that were running through my head. Like at this point, I wish you were listening to porn, and I wish you were having an affair with somebody because this, I feel like, is even worse. Okay, so you're saying that if I just go sleep with somebody, that will be okay then? Wait, no, none of this is okay. No, man, no, no, Matt, Matt. Matt, cheating with your girlfriend is not going to make this. Cheating on your girlfriend is not going to make this better, Matt. Jeez. But this isn't cheating. This is this is what I'm. Okay. Saying. No, I'm to no, 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 no. Like I had an OnlyFans page, and there was guys like looking at me, or guys were sending me lingerie, and I was sending them sexy pictures of Ooh. me in lingerie. That's How a good would point. you like that? How would you feel if I was doing that? Well, that'd be different. No, 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 no. no, like- no. War of the Roses is pre-taped and possibly edited for broadcast with permission granted from all participants. Want more roses? Go to ymsradio.com. As always, with War of the Roses, your thoughts are greatly appreciated. 99338 to text or call me 877-995-4681. To Woodbridge we go. Alex, good morning. Hey, good morning. You heard War of the Roses. What do you want to say? Oh, my God. That dude sounds like the biggest creep that I have ever heard in my entire life. Yeah, I would, would think, too, like, if he even heard himself out loud, he realized it, but I, I guess uh, not. Alex, thank you so much for calling. Have a great day. Thanks. You're awesome. And everything celebs, music, TV, and more. Rose has the entertainment report coming next. What you got for us? Apparently, Adele is scaling back her Vegas residency. Plus, getting you into our DC Jingle Ball presented by Capital One. If I miss it on the show, I download the podcast. Your morning show with John Riley and Rose. One step at a time. That's how the biggest dreams are achieved. So if your dream is to study in the UK, make John Leggett College your next step. Here we're proud of our outstanding reputation for exceptional educational performance with a wide range of academic and vocational courses and excellent links to the UK's top universities to get you where you want to be. Find out more at leggett.ac.uk. JLC, your place to be.